guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a full face of makeup from brands that I have never tried. Um, so, we got a whole bag right here. So excited. So, we got stuff from Beauty Glazed. We got a Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. Some more Beauty Glazed. We got Face Candy. We got a la Mar Cosmetics. We got um, Black Radiance. We have Laura Lee Los Angeles, more Alamar, we have Pure, we have um, City Color, we have Dose of Colors, Cover FX, Misha, Joa, Desi, Beauty Creation. Like, there's a good amount of stuff in here. So, we're gonna get into it. So, I am going to start off with the primer. Um, because I don't have a hydrating primer, I did go in with my uh, skincare literally like 10 minutes ago. So today we're trying out the Touch and Soul no, no Problem Primer. This actually came as a sample in my last um, Ulta order. If I can open it, that would be great. Okay, put that in the trash. I feel like they're a little... A little too close there. There we go. All right. So no poor blum. I'm excited to try this because like every YouTuber I follow enjoys this primer. I actually wanted to get the boxy charm that had this primer in it, but um, that didn't happen. So ooh, okay. Already liking the feel of that. I'm just gonna like put it in my problem areas. That was a lot though. It was a lot, like a full face. So. That was so much, okay. Do not use that much when actually like using this product. That was a lot, but my skin looks so much smoother. Ooh, this, this is dangerous. <laughs> this might be my next Ulta order. Oh. Okay, so that feels so smooth. And just by looking in the camera, my skin already looks so much smoother. Let's take a look in a mirror. Oh my goodness, it literally just looks blurred. Like I kinda like did the blurring face filter thing. Beautiful. Anywho, so. Ooh. Okay, okay see what's in here. I don't know why this was double bagged, but it was. So I'm going, a lot of these products came from my friend Roxy, by the way. Um, so, thank you, Roxy. Every couple of months, we like to do makeup swaps of products that we're not using. So, for my base, I'm going to be using the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. Um, according to my research, this is cruelty-free, but I don't know. And I got mine in the shade 21. It's kind of more gray toned. So first let's try it with a sponge. Yeah, you can definitely see how like gray tone that is. Okay, that's really nice. Not gonna lie. It's like a nice like way to just even out your skin tone. And this is like a perfect match for me. I decided to get this after Jessica Braun was um, raving about it, you know, after I did my research to make sure it was cruelty free. Um, but. 
what I could find, it's cruelty free. There wasn't a lot of info um, about Misha products on the internet. So, again, just based off of what I find, if you guys know differently, tell me. And if you guys do know differently, just tell me down in the comments. And if they aren't actually cruelty free, I just won't purchase again. But I do really like this. Like, holy crap. Like, it just evened out my skin tone really nicely. Ooh, this, this could be dangerous. All right. So, why does this always happen to me? <laughs> so, really like this so far. Next, we're gonna go in with concealer. Now, I have two different types of concealers. I have, and they're both from Joha Beauty. I've never tried anything from Joha Beauty. There's the Wound Me Up Concealer and the All Brushed Up Concealer. I think I'm gonna go with this one just because it looks a little lighter. Um, so, I'm gonna go in with this one. And like I've said in the past, um, when trying out concealers for the first time, I will not um, color correct because I want to see how the concealer does on its own before color correcting. That's just the way I am. Just a normal doe foot. All right. First things first, this concealer is pretty yellow which is kind of shocking to me because it doesn't look that way in the tube. Okay, maybe it does. In person, it doesn't look that way. On camera, it does. Um, so. I've heard a lot of good things about Joha Beauty, so I was really excited to try something. And I'm just going to blend that out. Okay, that's not too bad. It definitely does not cover up the dark circle, but like I said, I like trying out concealer without color correcting first because I like seeing how full coverage they are. I have um, Wolves by Selena Gomez stuck in my head. I've been running through the jungle I've been running with the wolves too good to you too good to you I've been down the darkest alley from the dark side of the moon too good to you too good to you all right so I'm gonna add a little bit more concealer on this side because it seemed to cover up this side nicely so I'm just gonna add some more I want to get more from Joha because this I'm really liking this concealer so far. It's a little, is it a little premature to say that? Maybe. But so far, I am liking it. So, I'm telling you. Okay, so, that definitely covered up a little bit better now that I added that little bit more. But. Okay, so I am going to set my under eyes with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I've never tried this setting powder. Obviously, considering I've never tried Cover FX. Um, but, hoping. It does wonders. Okay. I'm not mad. Okay, 
So that actually like set really nicely. It just, it feels like nothing's there when I set, which is actually quite nice. Um, I don't like the feeling of heavy powders and loose powders can feel kind of heavy. So I'm, I'm really liking that. Um, and I'm going to set the rest of my face with the pure four in one, um, pressed mineral makeup powder foundation thing. It's a little dark, but that's okay. Um, today I'm just going to use it as a setting powder. And it's definitely going to add some coverage, but I'm not using like a kabuki brush. So it shouldn't be too ridiculous looking. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more just because my face is still feeling kind of tacky. Still feeling tacky. What the heck? Pure, are you not doing your job? <sighs> okay, so it's still kind of feeling tacky, but it's not nearly as bad. So and I don't want to keep piling on powder because I do have dry skin and doing that can look really bad. But... It did add a little bit more coverage, which is kind of nice. Um, so now we're going to go on to bronzer. So I don't have any contouring products today, but I do have bronzer. You know, you don't have to contour every time. It's, it, it's allowed. Um, so when I decided to do this video, the only store I had available to me right away was CVS. And there was not a lot of bronzers that are cruelty free in CVS from brands that I haven't tried. Um, so I'm just, I was literally looking around and I came across the brand Black Radiance, looked it up, it's cruelty free. It is a brand for women of deeper complexion, but they have these, so like their contouring products and their bronzers weren't gonna work for me, but they have their face powders. Now this is like a gorgeous golden almond color and the name of it's actually Golden Almond Finish. Um, is it weird that I'm using a face powder as a bronzer? Maybe. But am I still gonna give it a shot? Of course. So I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques um, like stipple brush. Get some of, okay, very powdery powder. That's okay. Maybe. That means it won't look awful. That just, ooh, that melted so nicely into the skin. Ooh. I'm liking this. <sighs> Who knew that using a face powder as a bronzer would look so nice. And it's like not too deep. So it doesn't look crazy. It just kind of looks like I got some sun. <sighs> Trying to like be careful. <laughs> Cause it is kind of in like flimsy packaging. So I'm just, I'm trying to be careful. So I do have to build it up a little bit, but that's okay. It, it looks so nice. That looks so good. Like, oh, 
guys, it literally just looks like I'm a little bit tan. It's so pretty. I love it. 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 So this might be my new favorite bronzer. Oh, it just it looks so good. All right. So that was the Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder in the shade Golden Almond Finish. And it looks so good on the skin. So good. So... Okay, blush. For blush, we have the Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio in the Fair Light category. So, I don't know what I want to do for my eye look today. So, I think I'm going to go in with Paraiso. Para Paraiso? Um, never tried Alamar before. <laughs> I've been wanting to try them for so long. My friend Roxy got the um, first eyeshadow palette that they made through BoxyCharm. And ever since then, and ever since I've seen her use it multiple times, I've been like utterly obsessed. And have been wanting to try their things. Look how nicely that blush went on. What? Alamar. Alamar. What is this? Like, this was so easy. So easy. So easy. Guys. Yes. So... That looks really good. And now we're just gonna blend all that out as uh, I always do. Look how nicely that blended out. Oh my God. It looks so good and I look so radiant. I don't know if that's from the blush or from the BB cream or what, but it just, oh, it looks so good. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So now it's gonna be the fun part. We're gonna go into the eyes. Um, so I have the, I. This eyeshadow palette from Beauty Glaze, it's the Textured Shadows Palette in I Got You. It looks like it's supposed to be a dupe for um, Desert Dusk. So there's that. Um, I also have the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe palette. And that's what that looks like. But I also have the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal palette and that's what that looks like i think i'm gonna go in with beauty glazed at least originally because it has some nice um like transition colors and stuff and it's got that matte like cream color to set where the other two palettes don't so i'm just gonna go in with the matte cream color it's in the shade creamy i'm just going to set down the concealer that I had. Now, I've done my research, and from what I can find, all of the brands mentioned today are cruelty-free. Um, obviously, if you know differently, please let me know, because I really don't want to be supporting cruelty-free brands, uh, non-cruelty-free brands. So, but there's only so much I can do. Um, so, for my crease... I'm going to go into Dust, 
right there. It's kind of like a uh, neutrally brown color that may go a little warm. So these shadows are a little bit more sheer. You kind of got to build them up, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I actually really like shadows that are like that because then it's not, because then it's hard to go overboard. I'd rather have to build up and get where I like it than just press my brush in and be like, oh, pigment. That's one of the problems I'm having with the Lunder, London Butter, Butter London palette is the one crease shade that they have is so pigmented that I have to very lightly doop my brush and then even then I still have to take some off in order to get a lighter crease shade that I may want. But generally when I go and use a palette, it's going to be the only palette I use. So I want to be able to Um, do it on all on my own. I, I only want to have to be able to use one eyeshadow palette when I do an eye look. Sometimes I may dabble into other palettes, like today. I don't think I'm going to use any of the shimmers in this palette just because I know what my lip colors are and I think I'm going to go into Alomar for that, but... Generally, I like sticking to one palette. So I know what color lipsticks I have. Um, and I don't want to do a crazy eye look with a crazy lip. That would just be weird. All right, so those are nice and blended. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Mud right here. It's kind of a deeper brown shade. And again, just gonna lightly work it in. camera it's coming up more purple how's it coming up in person okay in person it's definitely more brown but on camera I don't know why but it's coming out more purple I'm just gonna roll with it and we'll see what happens Okay, that looks really, this is blending so easily. And if I remember what Roxy said correctly, this palette was only like $15. So like, I'm highly impressed. See you guys, cheap makeup or affordable makeup. I don't like the word cheap. Affordable makeup can be good. You don't have to buy like Urban Decay and stuff. And I feel like I've definitely have made that known on my channel. I love my drugstore products. Don't get me wrong. I love my high-end products as well. But drugstore has just been like my ride or die forever. I'm going to fall. All right. So that's all I'm going to use from the Beauty Glaze palette. I'm going to go in with some e.l.f. glitter glue. I'm just going to put glitter glue down. I never test a shadow without glitter glue because my eyes are hooded and no matter what that 
um, shimmer shade is going to crease if I don't put down glitter glue. And I don't really find that a fair representation. So I'm going to go in with La Costa, just with my finger, and put that on the lid. Holy smokes. That is beautiful. Wow. Okay. I see you, Alamar. I see you, Alamar. And I'm going to put glitter over here, glitter glue over here. And again, just going to put La Costa over here. Okay, that is like gorgeous. And I cannot wait to play with the Alamar palette more. Why did that get wet? <laughs> That's gorgeous. So I'm going to do my la. I'm gonna do my mascara and my highlighter and um, my mascara, and I will be right back to do highlighter and lips. Sorry if the camera's in a slightly different angle. I knocked it and then I had to fix it. So I tight lined and I did my mascara. I just used my Project Pan items for that because you know gotta get them down. Gotta get them down. To get them down, 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 down. All right, so for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with, I have two different options. Um, I have the City Glow one, but the one I would have to use is a cream, and I already set everything down. So I'm gonna go in with the Face Candy Mermaid Glow Highlighter Palette. And I'm gonna go in to the shade Gleam here. Um, mostly be, because I messed up. Um, but most of these, all of these colors are duochrome and Gleam is like the closest to like a regular highlighter. That is gorgeous. It has like a little bit of like a pinky shift, but that's okay. That, that's handleable. Um, with just a natural look like what I got going today. That's beautiful. Oh, that is so pretty. And I know face candy for a fact is cruelty free because it is on the back. But that's, oh, that's actually really pretty. Okay. Now we're going to set the face. I have the Found Stardust Illuminating Makeup Setting Spray. It says Shake Well. That's what I'm doing. I don't know if found is cruelty free. I couldn't find any info on it other than it's at Walmart. It has a really nice mister. I'm not going to even lie about that. The mister on that's really nice. Yes, I'm one of those extra people that got a fan for my setting spray. I was sick and tired of trying to use palettes to uh, get it to dry it down. All right, so last but not least, we have a lipstick. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six different ones I could use. I have Dose of Colors in the shade Coral Crush. I have this 
Beauty Creations Longwear Matte Lip Gloss in the shade Sweetheart. I have um, the Kylie Jenner Mini Liquid Lipsticks. I have the Candy K Matte Liquid Lipstick and the Charm Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I also have this Hank and Henry Liquid Lipstick in Petal Pusher and this Edessi New York um, one that doesn't have a name on it. So because I went so neutral on the eyes, I do think I'm going to go in with Dose of Colors in the shade Coral Cutie. Oh, that looks so pretty. I'm nervous. Ah! That's so bright, but so pretty. Now, I've been wanting to try the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick formula for a while. And I just never ended up purchasing it. And then Roxy gave me this one. And I was like, perfect. That looks so freaking pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is the final look. Um, I'm going to go over a few things. So the Misha BB cream was really, really, really nice. I thought it just neutralized every, my, everything very nicely. It definitely evened out my skin tone. The concealer was okay. I didn't like that. I had to go in for a second round to cover my dark circles, but I find that's kind of typical with me. My dark circles are kind of dark and I generally have to color correct. But like I said before, I don't like color correcting when I'm trying new concealers. This Cover Up X powder was gorgeous. Like it feels so nice under the eyes. It doesn't feel heavy or anything. So I'm excited to keep using that. Um, the Pure Foundation Powder. Now I did use it as a setting powder today. So maybe that was my mistake, but I wasn't the huge fan of this. I will try it out as just like a powder foundation as well, but I'm not gonna lie, I was mildly disappointed. The Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Golden, excuse me, Golden Almond Finish was absolutely beautiful. I love the way it looks as a bronzer on my skin. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, Alamar Cosmetics Blush, uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, look at that. That's gorgeous. Even, even before I put the highlighter on, it just looked radiant and beautiful. Again, I used the shade Paraiso. Per, per Um, the Beauty Glaze eyeshadows. So again, I only used two shades, three shades in here. So I'm going to have to play around with this more. But I like that they were a more sheer formula. So you had to build it up to really get, you know, pigment. I do prefer my shadows that way because I don't like going in and being like, oh, oh now I got to spend 20 minutes blending this out. So I'm excited to try more from this palette i also have a pressed glitter palette from them oh definitely cruelty free sorry had to put up um which i'm also excited to use i mean look at those colors um so the alamar cosmetics palette i only used one shade in here and it was the shade la costa that's the one all over my eyes it's an absolutely beautiful shade. I cannot wait to play around with this palette more, be able to play with the mattes and everything. I just knew like I had more colorful lips, so I wanted to try to keep everything neutral on the eyes. The Face Candy Mermaid Glow Highlighting Palette. Again, I use the shade Gleam. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has like a nice pink shift to it. I can't wait to play with the other colors. This has like a green shift to it. This has like a blue shift to it, purple, another purple, like silver. I cannot wait to play around with that. And then the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick. It's already dry and it's a gorgeous color. It's in the shade Coral Cutie. It's already dry. It's a little sticky, but nothing like I can't, nothing I can't handle. It's not like the Ulta brand one that uh, Melissa Michelle collabed with. That was, that was really sticky and really bad. But, um, 
it's nice and thin like it doesn't feel like I have anything on the lips and I do really like that so that's it for today's video I hope you guys did enjoy this and there's still brands that I haven't tried that so maybe I will do another one of these I don't know all I know is that this this was a very successful video I was ex I was assuming I was gonna have more misses than I did um but absolutely gorgeous so yeah I'll see you guys next time bye